high sex appeal fragrances for women. So there are quite a lot of these, but I've never managed to narrow it down to a pretty small list um, of just kind of seductive, warm types of fragrances. So uh, as always, all the fragrances I mention are available in the Amazon associate links down in the description below. Now I'm gonna start with one that is continuously my favorite, which is Oud Satin Mood, which is actually a unisex option, but I've said this multiple times, this is one of the most attractive fragrances, at least in my opinion, one of the most attractive fragrances out there. Um, just a really warm, wonderful mix of oud and Turkish rose, uh, with some other notes in there, but those are the main two. Uh, the oud obviously has its own kind of muskiness, woodsiness, this natural heaviness, mixed with the rose, which naturally is slightly sweet, a little bit cold, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, you mix those two together, wonderful, wonderful mixture. They really balance each other out, you know, the, the musk and the sweetness and that sort of thing. So, really just a super high quality fragrance as well, uh, being from this brand. And again, I, I'm, I guess I'm biased because I love it so much, but it is just a super warm, seductive, very attractive type of fragrance. Uh, and I can't... I, I, I don't see how you could go wrong with it because it's just so good. Um, it's one of my favorite oud fragrances in general. Uh, but even if you're not a fan of oud, I would say that it's it's crafted in a way that it's not too oud forward. You know, it's still pretty nicely balanced. Uh, so I think most people would really enjoy it. Um, but if you really want to stay away from oud, maybe this isn't your type of thing. Then, I would say, kind of a, maybe if you want to go more old school, more mysterious, then I would say Chalamar from Guillain. This is also one of my favorites, actually. Uh, 1920s style fragrance. Even, even though it is pretty old, it's still, I think, very, you know, a classic, very prominent, um, has a certain style about it. This is a super smoky fragrance, um, not in a tobacco sense, but more in a kind of resinous incense type of sense, and um, it's really strong as well, especially the Eau de Parfum, which I have, uh, which is stronger than the Eau de Toilette, but this is a just a super sexy, super um, mysterious, smoldering type of fragrance, very strong amber notes and just resins in general. Uh, you have some patchouli thrown in there. Again, those those smoke notes as well. Uh, it was designed to be kind of exotic smelling, so it definitely fits that bill, definitely very exotic smelling. Um, and there's also a vanilla note, which is quite nice. It adds a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of, uh, uh, just kind of adds, I guess, to the character of the whole fragrance. Um, and also some citrus notes up in the top notes, which give it a nice contrast to those heavier notes. But in general, if you're looking for something really heavy, really smoky and mysterious, Shalimar is going to do exactly that. Uh, and it lasts a super long time, I would say minimum nine hours of longevity, uh, specifically the Eau de Parfum. Um, but yeah, in general, super long lasting, great projection, great performance in general. Uh, and. I would say, I mean, because it is so strong and heavy and warm, definitely better for cold weather or evening wear, but, you know, that sort of thing. Now, if you don't want a fragrance that is about a hundred years old, you want something more modern, then I would say you could go for something a little more, I guess, like this. But this is Monsera Red Tobacco. This is a modern fragrance. But it's also kind of, it mixes sweetness with tobacco notes. Definitely not as smoky as Shalimar, uh, but, you know, still has a certain smokiness, obviously, from the tobacco note. What I like about it is how it mixes the tobacco with the vanilla note, because the van vanilla note that it has is actually very, very prominent, very sweet. Um, this is a unisex option, but it is very, very sweet. Uh, but it does it in a nice way. It's not cloying, it's not too sugary sweet, it's not like on the levels of La Vie Belle, uh, you know, just too gourmand, too too crazy. Uh, still nicely balanced with the tobacco note, 
you know, mixing with the vanilla, uh, has a certain warmth to it. So definitely has a nice kind of seductive nature to it without going, you know, too exotic into Shalimar territory. Um, and again, this is a nice modern option. Super long lasting. Uh, the blend of the tobacco with the vanilla creates a very uh, just prominent mixture. It really sticks to your skin. It's going to last uh, pretty much as long as you need it. Uh, at least at least nine hours. Um, uh, I've, se I've seen this stick around for, you know, 10, 11 hours, 12 hours. So definitely if you're looking for a long lasting option that's also very attractive and has that unique blend of tobacco and vanilla, uh, red tobacco is absolutely going to do just that. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit different than this, but still pretty prominent, still pretty powerful, then I would say Black Opium from Yves Saint Laurent. So this, this is a pretty well known one. This was super, super popular, even oversaturated about 10 years ago. These days, less oversaturated, um, but uh, I think it still has a pretty good smell to it. Most people seem to like it. Uh, it's pretty much a black coffee, orange blossom, patchouli type of fragrance, so definitely on the heavier side. Used to be a popular clubbing fragrance. Not so much anymore, it's more versatile now. Um, but in general, because it was kind of designed to be a clubbing fragrance, it's actually really long lasting. Uh, eight hours for the most part. Uh, it'll last for most of the day or most of the evening. and. In general, it actually smells pretty good. It has a pretty prominent sweetness as well, uh, mixed with the coffee notes, the orange blossom, that sort of thing. Um, so, definitely worth a try. Uh, this one isn't for everyone. It's a little bit more um, particular, but um, a large number of people like it. It's one of those tried and true and, and tested fragrances. So, definitely worth a try, especially if you're looking for a heavy, more modern type of fragrance. Um, but maybe you don't want a heavy fragrance, maybe you want a fragrance that is very attractive but also kind of fresh. Then I would say Amongst Waves from uh, Gallagher Fragrances. This is a more niche option. This is a really, really nice aquatic fruity fragrance. This is actually unisex. Um, it's, it's super fresh but it has some really nice sweet fruit notes like melon, a little bit of lime, some ginger, some green apple. You mix those together and then blend that with the aquatic notes and sea salt notes that it has. And it, you know, this is, it creates a really, really wonderful, um, very natural type of fragrance that is very attractive. Um, and surprisingly long lasting because as a lighter type of fragrance, you might not expect it to last a, a long time but it does. Uh, about five to six hours of longevity, which is pretty good for a light fragrance like this. But um, again, if you're looking for a, a lighter type of fragrance that's still very attractive, then this will absolutely do the job. But that is pretty much my list for high sex appeal fragrances for women. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, of course, you could leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.